I just made a Ryobi functioning battery mount. And so, what can go wrong? And uh, just so you guys know, before we go out here, this might be the last video that I'll do for this YouTube channel. Because <laughs> if this goes wrong, my camera's dead, I can't afford to get another one. Alrighty, so what we are going to do today is have a little fun. Now, you notice I'm wearing a Ryobi shirt now, which actually the shirt's extremely comfortable. Thank you to my uh, friend Michael at the at my Home Depot that I go to in McHenry. Give a shout out to you for that. This is the uproar, and uh, it actually is bigger than I thought it would be, which is uh, which is good. Now, this is uh, operated with Ryobi batteries. What's in here right now I think is a 2 amp hour battery, but we're going to put a 9 amp hour battery in there and see what it see what it can do. Now, I just did a playback of that footage. I am sorry. Uh it, it's a tiny bit blurry, but I liked what I said on there, so I'm not going to re-edit that. So, just by looking at this, it just looks like I have to take these these four clips off right here. They come off extremely easily because they don't need to be majorly secured on there because they're not holding, they're not really holding anything in. Make sure we don't lose those. There's four, there's two in the front and then two in the, two in the back. So let's take a look. And there you go. That actually looks cool by itself. That looks very cool by itself. And like I said, these, let's actually look that up a little bit. Ryobi batteries is what operates this. Now this looks like it's a regular P102. There we go. We're going to do him a favor and put this on charge. Alrighty, but that's, that's what it pretty much looks like. Which I like that. I like that design. Let's test out the shocks. I like that. That seriously is a cool. I wonder if they have a different. I wonder if they make a different shell. I wonder if they make a different shell for that. Because it would be cool to have like a. <coughs> like a Ryobi themed car one. Alrighty, let's put a 9 amp hour battery in. Does it go back on? No, it does not. Oh, it does. A 9 amp hour battery with room to spare. Wow. Very good. Let's push the on button on here. Where's the on? Oh, there it is. Now it's turned on. Wow. I have a feeling that... I have a feeling that this is going to be very fast. So, let's go outside and... Test it out. See, and it comes it comes to a time like this to where I wish I had a GoPro that I could put on here and just use that footage in this footage. But I don't have a GoPro. So So let's see how bad this thing is. Or how awesome it is. Yep. Alrighty, so I am terrible at using remote control cars because I keep on forgetting that it's reversed if you turn a certain way. The front the front wheels respond pretty well actually. It's not bad at all. Reverse pretty is pretty good. 
But I, I, I feel like if you do this too much, it loses the signal. Yeah, see, you, you lost the signal if you tap that too much. Make sure it's clear. Yep. That clips in much better. That looks more, more natural too. It handles very well. God, it would be so cool if I can get a battery on there. If I can get my camera on there. Alrighty, so I figured out what, we're, what we are going to do. And what we're going to do is we're going to put a 1.5 amp hour battery in a 4 amp hour battery shell. Alrighty, someone asked what size security key you need to take apart batteries. TT10. <coughs> you need a TT10 sized security key. See, and that's the thing, is once you do something once like this, you'll, you'll do it a lot more often than you think. So I'm actually glad I'm able to implement this into my videos. Then, a flathead screw, screwdriver, just to pry it out. Just like that. Everything looks good. Bingo. Now when it comes to this, the main thing that's going to support this battery, actually I just could have taken that off and swapped it, no, is now I'm going to put one screw in here, now I have a 1.5 amp hour battery and a 4 amp hour, just like that. So what this does, what, the reason why I need to do this is to have the extra space in between the battery and this part. So that, that's why I'm doing this right now. Now what I'm going to need to do is get a drill the size of that. So let's find out the size I need. And remember, instead of just leaving your bits out, put them back immediately, so you just so you don't lose them, or I have to find out where they go. Now I have a battery for a camera mount. Works? Yes, it does. Battery is. At 75%. Oh, I do want to take a picture of this. <coughs> right, uh, upload it to Ryobi Rebels. Alright, so at this point, what I'm going to have to do is to take the camera out, stop filming. Uh, all I got to do is put the screws back in and the releasers back on, then we're good to go. I just made a Ryobi functioning battery mount. And so, what can go wrong? What can go wrong?
ready just to see, just to see what this looks like. I'm wondering if you could look and see it in the mirror. Oh. Now this charger, I think this charger is not going to uh, charge fast at all. I think it will, it, it's just a good small portable charger to bring with you where you don't have to bring an entire unit. So this, uh, its size alone is awesome because you can put this in your pocket. And then you'll, like on the job site, you'll have a small battery that doesn't take space in your bag or your toolbox. All right, so let's turn this off. Get that out of there. Done. It's a, it's a cute, it's a cool, it's a cool little RC car. It really is. That runs off the battery system, which I remember as a kid, using an RC car, uh, the battery would last like 10 minutes, you know, because the ba the, the battery technology wasn't there. And then the batteries were, uh, you'd have to wait like an hour for a battery to, battery to charge. With these, you know, the 1.5 amp hour battery will probably last you, on a full charge, a good 30, 40 minutes. That, that's not bad. That's not bad. And so it, uh, it's good. I like this little. I do. I like this. If I do get one, I am going to totally customize the body to where it looks Ryobi. I am going to put stickers on it, uh, and I just have it like Ryobi themed uh, uproar. And so I do not know what the, comp uh, what the deal is with the company that is uh, working with Ryobi to make this, but it's, I guess, uh, I'm told that Ryobi did have their hands in there because it comes with a charger and a Ryobi battery. And so I'm going to I'm just going to assume, I might be wrong. I can see the comments just flaring up on this. I Ryobi might actually have their hands in this. It might be part of a Ryobi product. But it uses the Ryobi batteries to operate 100%. And the remote looks like a drill. I mean, come on. So I like it. I like it a lot, and uh, it, it. I, I think the retail price is eighty, ninety dollars. I think. I have no. I have no issue with it. Uh, are there better RC RC cards out there? Yes. There's also RC cards out there that are like four grand. And so, uh, so yes, there's always going to be a better product, better than the best, and then it's just. But for eighty dollars, that works with the Ryobi One Plus system. I'm in. I like it. It seriously is. It seriously is awesome. It it truly is. So that's my review. Well, today was a successful day. Nothing got ruined, or damaged, or destroyed. So we walk. We get to walk away with our heads high. So that's pretty much it uh, for this episode. The quick tutorial and workings of the uproar. I want to call it the Ryobi Uproar, but I do not know, but I'm going to put that in the thumbnail anyways. But that's pretty much it. So this is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time.